Good morning and welcome to Off the Press, the program where we tell you all that is in the headlines and make sense uh, of it. Uh, this morning we have several papers with me and I'll be starting off with the Punch newspaper. And the big story on the Punch newspaper this morning is the National Assembly sets November 28th for target uh, for budget passage and it's contained on pages 2 and 27 and the federal government proposes 10.33 trillion naira as estimates and 2.45 trillion naira to service debts. Uh, we also have picture stories of um, the president in the National Assembly and trying before he read out the budgets. We also have here flood ravages Ekiti, Lagos communities, ocean markets that's on pages four and five. It's already displayed there, thankfully, on your screen of the Punch newspaper. And then Taraba Keelin's panel warns Captain ASP and soldiers punished. So that's on page nine of the Punch newspaper. And gunmen abduct NC, NSCDC officer, leads others, and demand 10 million naira. That's on page eight of the Punch newspaper and of course uh, sexual harassment unilag suspends another yet another lecturer and that's on pages four and five of the Punch newspaper. Uh, federal government may revoke Abuja, Ikeja and six disco licenses. That's somewhere at the top, uh, I, I, I skipped it earlier. It's somewhere now, yes, displayed now on your screen and you find it also on page 30. And we have the PNID petitioner offers to testify against XCJN Belgore. And that's on page 7 with a picture of Belgore also displayed there. And on page 7 still we have Army Start Special Operations in Southwest, Southeast and the others. And that will begin on the 1st of November. You'll find the details of this story, the full story, on page 7 of the Punch newspaper. I'll take you to the back of the Punch newspaper also, where it has uh, the column by uh, Lekon Shote. It says it's Nigeria after rejecting Ruga. Uh, find out what he's talking about there. And then we have something at the top by Abraham, I never wanted to play for Nigeria. And that's on page 45 also. Um, we will take a look now at the Vanguard newspaper, the headlines for the Vanguard newspaper. It says, Poverty and the Nigerian Attitude to Giving. That's by Are Afe Babalola. Uh, it's on page 40. It's already also displayed there. And there's something on the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. A federal government plans new measures to boost revenue from mining. That's according to the minister. And IOCs sold divested oil assets to incompetent operators, according to NMPC, alleging that. And how Nigeria can benefit, be competitive, Ecobank says. You find Ecobank CEO rather saying, and you find that story contained on page 37 of the Vanguard newspaper. We will come to what is displayed on your screen very shortly, but before then, uh, there's a page, story on page 8. Panel recommends disciplinary actions against army, captain, and four others. That's on the Wadime story. And then Boko Haram prices returning to pre-2015 levels with new strategy. That's according to a report that you'll find the story on page 8. And the federal government defends VAT increase, says it will help struggling states. Uh, that's from 5% to 7.5%. And then 2020, Buhari presents the 10.33 trillion naira budgets and job creation budgets uh, to the National Assembly. Uh, that story is on page five. MDAs to appear for the 2020 budget defense in October, according to Lawan. And reps commence debate today. APC, CUPP divided over budget prospects. The PDP takes NAS on 2020 budget challenges Buhari to make presidency allocation public. You'll find that story also on page five of the Vanguard newspaper. And on 2020 job creation budget, uh, non-debt recurrent expenditure, 4.88 trillion naira displayed there, capital expenditure, 2.14 trillion naira. Debt service is at 2.45 trillion naira. Capital projects is at 2.46 trillion naira. 
increase VAT from 5% to 7.5%, and the federal government has come out in defense of that uh, increment too. Uh, GDP growth from two, is at 2.93%. Deficit is 2.8 trillion naira. Our benchmark will be at uh, $57 uh, per barrel. And works and housing on your right, top there is 262 billion naira. Transportation is allocated 123 billion naira. Defense is allocated 100 billion naira. Agriculture and development, 83 billion naira. NDDC gets 81 billion naira. Health is allocated 46 billion naira. Interior, 35 billion naira. And FCT Abuja gets 28 billion naira. Power sector gets 127 billion naira. Uh, UBEC gets 112 billion naira. Zonal intervention projects is at 100 billion naira. Water resources is at 82 billion naira. Education also is at 82 billion naira, the same as the water resources. And NEDC is at 38 billion naira. And social investments programs will be at 38 billion naira. The Nigel Delta Affairs Ministry gets 24 billion naira. By the time you put all of these items together, you arrive at the total of 10.33 trillion naira. And now that is it. When you grab a copy of this newspaper, you find the details. And then we have again the story of uh, sexual harassment. You can see it somewhere there on purple. And it said, I won't be forced to speak, embattled lecturer. Find out why he doesn't want to be forced to speak on page 14. And then insecurity, it is time to make our politics part-time, according to Adebutu. Um, you find uh, we have columnists with their contributions on 30, page 30. Dear Bumi is on page 30. Fason is on 31 uh, of the Vanguard newspaper. We'll go very quickly to the back page of the Vanguard newspaper, and it has the sports uh, Marquinhos wants Brazil against Nigeria, Senegal. The details is inside. Rain washes off Lagos open tennis futures. Wow. And fans to pay 10,000 naira to watch Eagles Brazil. I fought against closure of Chelsea Academy, according to Emanalo. And Brazil versus Nigeria. We will make Nigerians proud, Chukweze says. Uh, please grab for yourself a copy of the Vanguard newspaper to get more on the sports stories and the big headlines as already mentioned. With me again here is uh, the Nation newspaper and the big story, it would be displayed on your screen, oh thankfully already displayed there, you can see for yourself is uh, Buhari exempts firms with 25 million naira turnover from VAT. President presents the 10.33 trillion naira estimates, no allocation for fuel subsidy, uh, 2.45 trillion for debt service, and lawmakers to pass budget in December. Uh, that's on page on the front page, but it's continued also on page seven. You can see a picture of the president in the National Assembly yesterday. And we have 10 called suspects arrested in Lagos. Uh, that's another point in light on insecurity cases but find out what this is about on page 6. And then gunmen abduct 9 in Abuja, and that's on page 5 of the Nation newspaper. Let's go to the top, as you can see there. Uh, the story on the expose by the BBC still makes it to the front pages of the Nation newspaper, and I believe the vanguard that we already talked about. And it is sex for Max, outrage over yet another lecturer. Buhari's wife saddened about this new development, and that's still on the sex for Mark, uh, Marx incidents. This story is on page nine of the Nation newspaper. Please find out who is this new uh, lecturer in the net. And flood sweeps, uh, sweep away on the varsity student. Oh, that's a sad story. It's on page 42 of the Nation's newspaper. This is a saying added that Ado Ekiti ravaged. Nigeria-Brazil friendly suffers setback. Players 
yet to get their visas. That story is on page 47, I'm sure. Uh, sports fan, you would like to quickly and very hurriedly grab the nation newspaper and know what's happening with you, uh, with, the play, with the players there. Dixon, PDP blackmailing by also uh, monarchs, court orders Lokpobiri to serve Leon APC. I next to train 16,139 ad hoc officials for Kogi poll. This story and more you would find inside page 10 of the nation newspaper. We also have the highlights of um, the breakdown of the budgets, the same as we had earlier read out to you. And if you turn to the back of the nation newspaper, you will find the columnist there, Festus Erie, Nigeria's population, the bomb that exploded already unnoticed. Uh, you find out what this is about on the back page. And corruption and sex, Nigerian university education at a moral crossroads. That's by Niyi Akinaso thinking about tomorrow. Um, and that will be the headlines read out to you from the Nation newspaper. And left with me, it's this day. And it says, eight discos face NERC sanction for breaching Power Reform Act. You'll find that already displayed. And they are Ikeja, Bini, Kano, Abuja, Enugu, Port Harcourt, Yola, Kaduna distributors. They will be the ones to be affected. That story is on the front page, as you can see, but it's continued on page eight. And then we move to NNPC, Afrexim Bank, open talks on funding refineries repair. Some bit of good news, but the main story is on page eight of this day newspaper. Now, negotiations with bandits, political decisions, says military. And that's on the front page also. And it is continued on page eight. And somewhere there it says, uh, Defense Headquarters Panel, six more probe of Army Captain and four others. And Nigerian officials observe as Nigerian team talk with outlaws. Uh, front page, you can find that story, but it's continued on page eight. Now, business is hopeful of improved budget execution as Buhari proposes 10.33 trillion naira. Now, earmarks 2.45 trillion naira to service debt and 262 billion naira for works and housing, and adopts 5.7, rather 7.5 percent VAT rate. It was at 5 percent before, but it's now 7.5 percent. You'll find that story there on the front page, but it's continued again on the back on page five of this day newspaper. There's a picture story already displayed there. It looks like uh, the president in consultation with. Uh, Lawal and Femi Gwajabi Amina, and that's from yesterday at the National Assembly. Now, UK court rejects JP Morgan's bid to quash Nigeria's $87 million suit. That's on page five. And that will be it for this day newspaper as we turn behind to see yet another columnist uh, there, Kayode Komolafe, talking about marriage of man and machine. Very interesting uh, headline there. We'll grab a copy for yourself and see what it is about. And there we have Lakanu, a remarkable career. And that's what we've got for the headlines of the newspapers today, as already read out to you. Would I encourage you to grab copies of them uh, and find out what they are about? And the very last one, but not the least, is the Complete Sports. Uh, please grab a copy of the Complete Sports for yourself and find out what it is about, what's happening in the world of sports. And that's where we'll be rounding it off uh, this morning for Off the Press, uh, where we'll tell you about the headlines. And in most cases, we would dissect it and tell you what is ma and make sense of it. But this morning, we've just read out to you and encourage you to grab a copy for yourself. We will do this again tomorrow, 8.30, here on Plus TV Africa and on this program, which is Off the Press, our newspaper review program. I am Amaka Okoye, and have yourselves a great day. <laughs>